I love British crime dramas. Is Collateral with Kerry Mulligan binge-worthy? Let's find out. Collateral is a Netflix original limited series. There's only four episodes, so they're each about an hour long, so totally binge-worthy in an afternoon. Is it any good, though? It's basically like all the other British crime dramas, where there's a detective inspector who's investigating some kind of crime. This time, it's Carrie Mulligan, she's a DI, and she's investigating a murder. A pizza delivery boy is murdered, and we don't know, is it a case of mistaken identity, or was he the real target? As the series progresses, more and more is brought into it, and there's some political aspects brought in. You have the House of Parliament taking part. You even have MI5 in there as well. Even though this is a crime drama and it's a murder mystery, really the overarching story is a political one. It's a social commentary on illegal immigration. They're tackling whether or not they should allow foreigners to come in, whether they're refugees or not. There's some portions of the storyline that I think could probably be cut out, but they're in there just to make the four hours four hours. For instance, we have Billy Piper. She is playing a single mom and she's actually a divorcee of one of the people in the House of Parliament. Her ex-husband, who's part of the Labor Party, is there really in the story only to bring up the topic of illegal immigration. He ties a bunch of other storylines in together as well, but for the most part, none of these are really resolved. We have gay rights within the church. There's also a storyline of the treatment of the military and our veterans. At the end of the film, truly nothing is resolved other than the solving of the murder. As is with most British crime dramas, the story is not totally uplifting and the ending is not always just a happy one. It's kind of just melancholy. The performances are really well done and as you'll go through, you don't know necessarily the names of the actors, but you probably recognize them from other series. Like, oh hey, that dude was in Coupling. That chick, she was in River. Oh, that person, he was in an episode of Luther. Yeah, that kind of stuff. They all turn in great performances and their characters do a really good job. They're just not well known, at least on this side of the pond. If you enjoy the British crime drama, if you enjoy some of the slower pace, but a really well told story, and you don't mind that the story isn't totally wrapped up, then give Collateral a try. It's totally binge worthy in an afternoon, only four episodes. There's a little bit of nudity and sex, some language, and a bit of violence. I give Collateral three out of five couches. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.